as we start to put down roots in this breathtaking corner of the world we have the privilege of calling home now. Ireland has been showing us her many faces so that we might know her better. Wind, rain, sunshine and snow, we've experienced it all in these short weeks since we've arrived and we love her all the more for it. The landscape's palette seems to shift like a kaleidoscope with each turn of that meteorological magic. What one moment is painted in soft, muted browns, greens and greys, the next moment is transformed into rich, burnished browns and vivid greens, oh my day is that green, <laughs> or sprinkled with sparkles of sleet and snow. Or sometimes she withdraws into the mists. Hello, my love. Welcome back to our off grid, our very off grid, soon to be at homestead here in rural Ireland. Things have been happening since we vlogged last. So I'm excited to give you an update today as well as take you on a tour of all of our almost seven acres. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> When the heck are you going to show us the house, Cory? I know, I know, it's really annoying. Um, it's not that I don't want to. There is a hold up. I'll go into why. In the video that I'm going to create, I am going to do a house tour. So fear not, that's going to happen. You'll have to keep your eyes peeled for that. And no, this isn't intentional. <laughs> it's just one of those things. And also before we dive in, hello, if you're new here, I know we've had quite a few new followers. So welcome, welcome. I think this is going to be a really fun journey to be on together watching us have a go us newbie homesteaders have a go <laughs> creating a homestead here um, and settle in and hopefully integrate into the community here in rural Ireland we're very excited to be here and we're excited to have all of you who are here with us and can I just give a, a special shout out to everybody who takes the time to leave a really lovely often really helpful really thoughtful comment Oh, the comments that we had on last week's video they just I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get teary here <laughs> They just were so beautiful. So many people sending heartfelt messages, genuinely glad for us to have done it, to have bought our property here, um, welcoming us to Ireland, making us feel just really welcome. Um, and yeah, I don't take it for granted. And I just really want to thank you. One of the reasons why I wanted to start a YouTube channel was to create a sense of community around this, around doing things that aren't the normal stereotypical vision of success, you know? And it's just so, wonderful to see you guys chatting in the comments with me and also with each other it just makes me so happy so thank you for that you guys rock Is that right? it's quite chilly out here I thought it'd be warm enough in just my hat but no I don't have tea today I normally have tea when we do a video what's going on so let's get into it we have one particular update that feels like huge progress for us and is going to make our lives significantly more comfortable so more on that in just a sec but now join us as we walk our land for the very first time that's right we never actually walked all almost seven acres of it we only walked around maybe one or two just here that you can see behind me uh, when we came for the viewing because it was really inaccessible, as you will see oh and wait until you see what we've actually discovered on our land too which is really quite cool well maybe cool for us maybe i've built that up too much you can decide <laughs> Just out exploring our own land today. We haven't yet walked the entire seven, six, seven, something like that, acres. So Kayvan has been clearing paths for a couple of days straight now. And finally, we get to walk the whole thing. You know, if you just put some gravel in, then it's going to be a nice walk. I think. Oh. Yeah. So this hill we've named Hillary. <laughs> you walk down here. It gets really boggy just here. Come and have a look. Water, I think, is running actually down the side of Hillary because as we walk up Hillary, you'll see the, there is some uh, a light stream flowing down the side of Hillary. Okay. So I think it just ends up percolating through all of this rock and ending up here. Having seen the, the sun rise this morning and that field being like frosty until, well, it's still frosty now as we walk down it, right? Yeah. Um, this field gets it quite early, about, I need to double check, but about 10 a.m. Um, 10 a.m. No, Sorry. 11 a.m. when that field had not yet seen any light. This was in full light. Hmm. So, I think, given the sun's coming up here, um, 
Let's go set over there. I think this might be a good field for planting. Yeah. It's like a fox or rabbit did in there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Good spot. Oh, nice. Ooh, mm, cool. Hillary. <laughs> what are we meant to do with that? Enjoy her. Yeah. Chicken runs between the trees. Pretty far to come and collect eggs every day, though. Be conscientious about what we destroy. Yeah, absolutely. I don't necessarily clear everything. No. Just to make a square field. No. Only clear what's absolutely necessary. Yeah. Well, and also, hopefully, we're going to be planting things that create habitats for more biodiversity anyway. Yeah, come here, hun. See the sea? <laughs> yeah, I hear it all likes the view. <laughs> this is the top of artillery, so that's here to our land, that's then. Plenty of grass here for something to munch on, that's for sure. right now coming from a postage stamp size garden in the UK being able to explore our own land being out we were out for like best part of an hour maybe even more wandering around and discovering new corners and places and like up over over there there's like a field that we didn't even know was ours and yet it is and just finding all the old stone walls it was just so so fun but also just so beautiful and something that we definitely don't take for granted we never thought we would be able to um, have this much land and I know that maybe by some North American standards this is small <laughs> but for us it feels so big in all senses of that word You can't see him, but he's in here somewhere, <laughs> trying to beat a path to this building over here. We don't even know what it is. Wave your hand out of the top. <laughs> Wave it more. <laughs> Wave it more. Where? <laughs> Hello. There he is. Man of the hour. Ireland's new national treasure. <laughs> if they don't know it yet. Beating your own path. In life. Port porting a path to the barn. Yeah. I don't think the barn's been accessed for about 20 years. So if the barn is as overgrown as the path to it, I don't think there's any rescuing it. That's that's not optimism though, is it? Mm. And we like to engage in some optimism around here, so let's let's try that again with manifestation vibes. <laughs> the barn is going to be perfect. Spot on. Heat. Ideal. It's gonna have underfloor heating, <laughs> granite tiles around sound system in it. No, that's our old garage. Mm, I don't think we need that right now. I think we just need somewhere we can put some stuff. Mm. You can see the line of these brambles is head height for a man who's perfectly average head height, <laughs> height for a generation, or above head height for a hobbit like me. Our wall. That's our wall. Oh, yeah, she's a beauty. Oh, I just run down here. <laughs> didn't get 
the last bit of clearance. Have you peered inside yet? No. Okay, phew. Let's have a look then. More bramble. Kind of pulling the whole roof in. And this, isn't that to trap a cow's head in? Oh, it is. Cow cool. crush. Cow crush, I can use that. Hmm. To, to milk, maybe. She says as if she knows anything, really. Hmm. Can I keep my cow in here? Now to you, that might just look like a dilapidated building. What's the big deal? But to us, it was a big deal because first of all, there were no outbuildings on the particulars and on the listing of this. We even didn't notice it was there because it's so overgrown <laughs> when we came to actually do the house viewing. And okay, it is a bit dilapidated, but with just a roof panel and maybe a door or a gate or something on the back, it becomes a usable space. And on a farm every usable space matters and counts and the other really cool thing is that we found that cattle crush in there i've been speaking to a local farmer that i've befriended so fun to say um, <laughs> and he was telling us that um, we'll need to apply for a herd number or herd license um, if we're going to ever buy say cattle like my dairy cow from the local agricultural mart like the auction and one of the criteria to get your herd number is having a cattle crush so Tick. that's something that we can actually say that we have so this is exciting news which makes me just feel one step closer to having my dream dairy cow <laughs> I don't know why that just makes me so ridiculously excited anyway so okay to you it might be a dilapidated building but to me it represents so much more so the other update is that we actually got the house connected with electricity and the reason I'm laughing at that is because our intention here is to be off-grid and that's very much on grid but we really feel that we need to at least temporarily be on grid in order to get off grid if you know what I mean but really the off grid progress update is this we had our well drilled oh to have that done so soon felt like such a dream we actually looked into getting um, connected and, and to go on grid to go off again but it actually turned out to be a ton of paperwork and a really long process from what we could tell and that wasn't our long-term intention anyway so we just went with it we were so fortunate to meet a local chap martin what a legend him and gave and spent hours <laughs> chatting and got really really well um and so he came with his son they were here for a couple of days drilling the well we hit water sooner than we'd even been able to hope for because because we're kind of high up here and we didn't know we thought we might have to go very deep and we didn't have to so that was a win um, and so now we have our own supply of fresh running water now we can't actually use it yet <laughs> because it turns out that after you have I don't know if you know these things I'm learning all of this after you've had a well drilled because there might be contamination of the supply from the actual process of drilling you have to pump it a couple of times a day for up to a month and then send it off to have your sample tested to kind of see you know do you want to filter it how filtered is it going to be all of that kind of stuff so we can't actually drink it yet we can't actually really use it other than like I guess we could wash the van with it but it is there and it is ours and it just feels like a big deal actually so a lot of this whole dream for us is having control and more say over the provenance of the things that we are consuming and being able to have that control over our water supply and what's in it or what isn't in it just feels like freedom really it might seem like a silly or small thing to you or maybe not important to you and hey i get that but for us it is important Important. water is literally the stuff of life right so to have our own supply that comes from here from this place from this magical land that we still can't believe is ours I feel like we're custodians of it more on that in another video maybe I've been thinking about that a lot 
but to have our own fresh supply that is within some of not of course 100 percent but our control uh it just feels like freedom and it feels really really beautiful at the same time so things have been trundling along quite quickly here these are our dream life updates i think it's getting windy i hope the microphone's not picking that up too much so i'm going to love you and leave you and until next time go and live your dream life bye for now